Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating three new fall home decor DIY projects using items from the Dollar Tree and Dollar Wood. Now these pieces are fun and easy and definitely get you in the mood for fall. Now I'm going to be walking you through step by step how to create these items and the cost for each project will be $5 or less. Now for your convenience, I provided the list of supplies and tools used to make these projects in the description box below. Now I'm so happy to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my awesome subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now if you are a new visitor to my channel today, but you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's jump right into the projects. Now the first project will be a three piece shadow box fall decor. Now for this project, we'll start with this one by two by eight piece of $1 wood and I'm showing you the barcode and the texture for reference. We'll also be using a Dollar Tree wastebasket or you can use this gutter guard material from the home improvement store, which is a thick plastic mesh. Now we're gonna start by cutting our wood down to size and we're gonna cut six pieces at five and a quarter and six pieces at five inches. So now we can protect our work surface and we're going to prepare to stain our pieces. Now of course I'll be using my favorite Jacobian stain by Mimwax but you can use antiquing wax or diluted acrylic paint to achieve that stained look. Now for the larger pieces we're going to be staining the entire pieces including those ends. Then once those larger pieces are stained, we can stain the smaller pieces and there'll be no need to stain the ends on these since they won't be exposed in this project. Now once all of our pieces are stained, we can just sit them out to dry. Now once they are dry, we can go ahead and start assembling our boxes. So I'm gonna just group them together with two short sticks and two long sticks together. Now to form the box, I'm gonna lay two longer sticks on the top and the bottom and then place the shorter sticks in between them and I'll be using this wood glue from the Dollar Tree to adhere them together. Now we're just going to apply the glue to each end of those shorter sticks. And then we're just going to press them between the two longer sticks. And then I'm going to repeat this for the other two frames. Now once they're just about dry, I am going to be adding a screw into each corner for stability and I'm just using my clamp to hold it in place. Now I'm gonna start by drilling a pilot hole with a 3 32nd inch drill bit in my drill. And I'm just gonna drill a hole in the center of each corner's end. Now these will be the screws that I'll be using and they are number six one inch wood screws. Now I'm just gonna start by hand threading them inside of that pilot hole. And then I'm gonna use my drill to screw them in the rest of the way. So then I'm gonna repeat this for the other two frames. Now to cover those exposed nail heads, I'm gonna use some simple brown acrylic paint and I'm just gonna dab this on with a little Q-tip or you can use a small tip brush. So now I'm gonna take that gutter guard and I'm gonna go ahead and re remove it from the package and I wanna just stretch it out a little bit Now it's six inches wide, so I'm just gonna lay it on top of the opening of the frame and I'm just gonna cut it to the size to fit. And once we have that size to fit, we're just gonna cut out two more pieces to fit the other two frames. So 
So now we can start to adhere that mesh to the frames and we, I can do this with hot glue but I'm going to be using my staple gun for this. I just think it's a lot neater and easier. So now we can add our false sayings to these dollar, with these Dollar Tree tags and I'm just going to be using my chalk pen and writing a few sayings that I like. You could do whatever you want but I'm just going to write some false sayings. Um, on this one I'm just going to be writing out pumpkin spice, I mean doesn't pumpkin spice say fall? And then on my second tag I'm going to write hello fall. And the third one, which I cannot wait for, is sweater weather. Now, we're going to be adhering the tags to that mesh. So I'm going to be doing this with hot glue. So I'm just going to uh, center that mesh, I mean center that tag on the mesh where I want it. And then just apply some hot glue to the back of the tags. Now I'm going to do this with all three tags. Now you can adhere them going vertical or horizontal, it just depends on what you like. Now once they're all done we can accessorize our frames and I'm just going to gather up my fall decor pieces. Again you can add whatever fall decor that you like. I just have little pumpkins and pieces of greenery to add and so I'm just going to um, apply my pieces with just a dab of hot glue and just decorate the inside of each one of the frames. Now this little green piece, these are hops. These are so hard to find, but I love them. They're so beautiful and they scream fall to me. I love them. So now that this is decorated, we can decorate our other two pieces. And now they are all done and ready to go. And here are my little fall shadow boxes on display. Now I just think these are super cute. Now I really love the warm and cozy look of these pieces and they really put me in that fall mood. From those little logs on a fire to cinnamon pine cones, these pieces will really perfectly blend into your fall decor. Project number two will be a fall welcome sign. Now for this project, we'll start with these wood planks from the Dollar Tree. We will need one of these five gallon stir sticks and you can get these from Lowe's. We'll need some poster letter stickers from the Dollar Tree. We'll need one of these plant hanger chains from the Dollar Tree or we can use jute twine. And we'll need a plunger from the Dollar Tree. Now we're gonna start by removing four of those planks from this package. Now we're going to be cutting these in half. So once they are cut, we're going to end up with eight pieces, but we'll be only using seven for this project. So I'm going to be spelling out the word welcome. So I am just going to be applying these poster letters to these wood squares and I just want to make sure they are nice and centered. Now once all of the letters are applied, we can go ahead and stain the wood. Now I'm taking a cloth that is mostly dry with the stain and I'm applying the stain lightly to the wood. You want to make sure that you do not saturate your pieces because you don't want the stain to run underneath your stickers. And now that all the letters are stained, we can go ahead and grab that plunger handle and we're going to remove the rubber end and we're also going to remove that sticker. And then we're going to cut off those threads and we want to cut the other end straight too so both sides are equal. And so now all we have to do is stain this piece and I'm just going to stain it to match our letters. And you just want to let everything completely dry. Now once they are dry, we're going to take that five gallon stick and I'm going to cut off about two inches off the end. 
And then we're going to lay out our wood pieces along that paint stick. Now once they're laid out, we're going to go ahead and stagger the letters and making sure that they're evenly staggered. Now once the placement is good, we can hot glue each one of the wood tiles into place. Now once that hot glue dries, we can carefully remove the letter stickers from those wood pieces. And now that natural wood color is revealed for a beautiful contrast. So now we're going to work on attaching the chain to our piece. Now I'm going to start by separating those three chains by removing that center hook with a pair of pliers. Now you want to flip your piece over and you want to lay the end of the chain on the back of the second square and the sixth square. And then just apply a generous line of hot glue on the back of those pieces and lay the chain flat on top of it. Now you notice the sign slightly leans forward, so in order to keep it from leaning forward, you want to apply a bit more hot glue to the back and make sure you get that top edge of the chain to lay flat and be glued into place. Now while that dries, you want to grab that stained plunger handle, you want to grab some floral fall picks, and you want to grab a pumpkin, and this one is one from Dollar Tree that I cut in half. You're also going to need some thick jute twine. So the first thing we're going to do is take our two fall picks and I want to secure them to the plunger handle and make sure the stems are aiming towards the center. You're just going to use hot glue and secure each one of the stems into place. Now to add a bit of fullness, I'm just going to add a few stems of these fall leaves to each end. Now in the center, we're going to add our pumpkin. We just want to place a generous amount of that hot glue down the center of the pumpkin and then press that into place. And now once everything dries, we can take our welcome sign and we can attach it to the pole. Now to do this, I'm just going to wrap that chain around the pole a couple of times and use that clipper on the end to clip it into place. You just want to make sure the chain is equal on each side. Now to hang the piece, I'll be adding a strand of this thick jute twine, and then I'm gonna tie it on each end of the rod. I wanna place a dot of hot glue just to keep it from sliding off the end. And once everything is in place nice and even, we can hang up our sign. And here it is on display. Okay, I love, love, love how this turned out. Now this piece was inspired by a sign I saw in a retail store and I loved it so much I had to recreate it and I did it for a fraction of the cost. Now I think this sign would provide a wonderful warm welcome to anyone who comes to visit. Now project three will be a fall themed wall art piece. Now for this project we'll start with one of these picture frames from the Dollar Tree. We'll also use these fall printable sayings and the printable is in the description box below. Now we'll also be using some fall trims and greenery. Now we're gonna start by removing that frame and the frame's contents. And then we're just gonna make sure we set the glass and the frame to the side. 
So we're gonna go ahead and print our fall wall art on cardstock and cut those out. Now you wanna make sure you select the print size to be four by six. Now you wanna take the back of that picture frame and I'm gonna cover mine with this scrap piece of buffalo check fabric that I had on hand. Now you can use scrapbook paper or any other kind of decorative background that you like for this. You just wanna cut a piece of that fabric or scrapbook paper to fit. And you want to start by applying hot glue to the inside of the frame backing. Um, and you wanna press your fabric or your scrapbook paper to the wrong side. And then before cutting out, you wanna make sure that that fabric is nice and sealed along the edges. And then you can just trim off all of the excess. So now you can go ahead and start to apply your artwork. Now all you wanna do is lay all three of them out and you wanna space them evenly down the center. And then one center, just apply a bit of hot glue under each end of that photo to secure it in place. And now you just take this piece and secure it into the frame and make sure you carefully resecure it with the tabs. Now to add a little bit of extra fall spice, I'm gonna take this pick from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to apply it to the corner of the frame with hot glue. And then I'm gonna take one of these pumpkins that had a little clip on it. I'm just gonna remove that clip and I'm gonna hot glue it to the stem to cover it up. And then as a final touch, I'm gonna to add this buffalo check bow and snuggle it right above that pumpkin and then this project is complete. So now you can hang or sit this on a shelf and enjoy this simple but sweet creation. Now it's the perfect size and I love how it sums up all of our love for fall. Now I am so excited for fall and I had so much fun creating these three projects today. Let me know in the comments which one of these was your favorite today. Hey, listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you are subscribed and click that subscribe button below and turn on that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all next time.